Okay, we're gonna do lesson 14-2, elapsed time. Okay, there's two great ways to do elapsed time in third grade. I'm going to show both of them to you and you're gonna try both and see which one works for you in the end, okay? And sometimes certain problems, the Z method is gonna work better and other times these uh, hills, mountains, and rocks are gonna work better. So. The Z method is the first one, okay? So you can flip your paper over and make a Z on the back, okay? So let's say our start time is six o'clock and our end time is 10.35, okay? So we want to know, elapsed time means if I started at 6 o'clock and I ended at 10.35, how much time has passed? That means elapsed time. So what I want this to be, this is basically minutes until the next hour. So if it's at 6 o'clock, we don't have to worry about that. We still want it at 6 o'clock, okay? So that part is nothing there. We want this part to be until 10 o'clock. So how many hours is it from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock, okay? If you're looking at it, it would be one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. Going from six to 10 is four hours. And then how many minutes from 10 o'clock until 10.35? From 10 o'clock until 10.35. So we got five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So our total elapsed time is four hours and 35 minutes. Okay, that's called the Z method. Now, the other way to do it is using a number line, okay? We have our start time at six o'clock, our end time at 10.35, okay? We have our mountains, Okay, mountain equals one hour. Our hill is equal to like five or 10 minutes, depending on how many one, we would like basically chunks of minute. And then our rocks are equal to one minute each. Okay, so let's see, let's start by counting our number of hours. So we have one hour, that's seven o'clock, another hour, that's eight o'clock, another hour, nine o'clock, another hour, 10 o'clock, okay? So one, two, three, four, right? So we have four hours there. Now, we wanna get to 35 minutes, okay? So then we could use our um, mountains, our hills, excuse me, not our mountains, mountains are hours, our hills to count by fives, right? Or we could we could do like, we could do 30 and five. We could do it that way, or we could go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, right? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay, what I was saying is you could almost just go like 30 and five, and you could write a 30 above that and then a five above that, but. You're allowed some flexibility. It's your mountain, it's your hill, you know, what? It, how many do you want it to be? But it should be a nice even number for you to count by, okay? So that, again, you come up with four hours and 35 minutes. So let's take a look at our sheet here. Okay, write the start time and the end time. Okay, the hour hand is at the five, the minute hand is exactly at the 12, so we write down what time that is. It should be five o'clock. Now our end time. It's a quarter to something, right? It's almost the next hour. Now, where is this hour hand pointing? It's in between the eight and the nine, so it's still eight something. You can always hook that around the, the number that it's, it's past, okay? So it's eight something, and then how many minutes past there? We know what we should know, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, right? So, our start time is five o'clock, our end time is 8.45. Um, 
let's try to figure out how many hours and minutes are in between those times, okay? So, you can do this on, you can just flip it over and do it on the back, okay? So, I'm gonna do two different methods. Z method, okay? We wanna get this to, we wanna keep it at five o'clock, so it's zero there, okay? And then this is 8.45 down here, so our hour, we wanna get this to eight o'clock. So how many hours from five o'clock to eight o'clock? We got six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. Three hours. And then how many minutes from eight o'clock to 8.45? You probably just know that, but if not, you can count by fives. But from zero to 45 should be 45 minutes, right? So that's three hours and 45 minutes. Okay, now let's use our mountains, hills, and rocks, okay? Our start time is five o'clock and our end time was 8.45, okay? So we got six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, all right? We got three hours up here. Now, this is eight o'clock. We have to get from eight o'clock to 8.45. So we can count by fives, but we can also go like 30, and that gets us to 8.30, right? 8.40, and then 8.45. You could go like that and go 30.45. So that's gonna be three hours. 45 minutes but of course you could also do like this remember these are your mountains and your hills and your rocks five o'clock to eight forty-five. you can go six o'clock seven o'clock eight o'clock and then you can go five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty forty five one we got five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty forty five It'd be 45. They're each five. We have five groups or nine groups of five. Whatever way works for you is great. They are your mountains, your hills, your rocks. Okay. Hmm. There we go. Okay. So the hours between midnight and noon are a.m. hours, and the hours between noon and Midnight are p.m., so those are the afternoon. Morning, a.m., because the a comes first, and then p.m. is used for the uh, evening hours, later in the day. Jessica's school starts at eight o'clock. Do you think that would be a.m. or p.m., her school starting? Yes, yeah, should be a.m., and ends at three o'clock. Do we think it ends at three o'clock in the morning? No, three o'clock p.m. All right, Rodney went to a concert. The concert began at 5 o'clock p.m. and ended at 8.45. How long did the concert last? Well, we just solved that, right? We counted from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock, so it began at 5 o'clock p.m. And then how many hours was it to get to 8 o'clock? Write that there. How many hours from five o'clock to eight o'clock? Should have written three. And then how many minutes from eight o'clock to 8.45? See how you can count by the fives? How many minutes is that? Should be 45. So the concert lasted three hours and 45 minutes. All right, let's take a look at this other problem. We're gonna use the Z method and the mountains, the hills, and the rocks. So Louisa played outside from 9.15 a.m. to 11.25 a.m. How long did Louisa play outside? Okay, this is a good one for the Z method too. Um, so let's see here. Okay, we have a Z. Make your Z on the back. And she starts at 9.15 and she ends at 11.25. Okay, so what we wanna figure out is how many minutes to get to the next hour, which is 10 o'clock, okay? We are at 9.15, right? 
So how many minutes is it going to be between 9.15 and 10 o'clock? Okay, it was 9.15. So how many minutes from the 15 to the 60 is what you basically want to know. So you can count by fives, starting at the 15, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, okay? So that is 45 minutes, okay? So that gets us to 10 o'clock. Now, we're at 10 o'clock, we wanna get to 11 o'clock, that's our hour. So how many hours is it from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock? Should be one hour. And then how many minutes is it from 11 o'clock to 11.25? be 25 minutes right okay so now here's the tricky part though we have one hour right and then we have 45 minutes and 25 minutes which is going to be a problem okay because we are going greater than 60 there's 60 minutes in one hour right so if you have 70 minutes you have to think that 60 of them are an hour, and then there's 10 left over, right? So these 60 minutes equal one hour. So what we really have is one hour and one hour and 10 minutes, which is two hours and 10 minutes. It's tricky. You gotta pay attention to it. Let's use the mountains and hills and rocks and see if it's easier for us okay okay so let's take a look here we got 9 15 as the start time and 11 25 as the finish time right so if we're at 9 15 and we add an hour it's 10 15 right another hour 11 15 right you have to remember that you are at 9 15 an hour is that, right? The minute hand's staying the same. So 10, 15, 11, 15. That's two hours, right? And then we can count by fives from 15 to 25. Five, 10. We're at 15. If we do five minutes, that's 11, 20. And another five minutes is 11, 25, which is where we want to be. So what is that? This is five plus five, so that's two hours and 10 minutes. So I would say for this problem in particular, the mountains and the hills and the rocks were a lot easier than using the Z method, okay? But they both work. They both work, it just gets tricky when you have to add your minutes and it comes up as 60 or above. As soon as you're at 60, you have to change that out for an hour. We cannot say it's one hour and 70 minutes. We just don't, what, we just don't work that way. That's like saying it costs 103 cents. We don't say that. We cut, says it say it costs $1.03. You've got to change those 100 pennies in for a dollar, and you have to change your 60 minutes in for an hour. Okay? All right. Very good job. Thank you.